Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Napoli facing Fiorentina. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's the team for Napoli. David Ospina begins in goal. Matteo Politano starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And the main striker today is Dries Mertens. how it looks for Fiorentina Lucas Torreira plays alongside Giacomo Bonaventura in central midfield and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack and they kick off here A slide draw pass. Insigne. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Mertens. Marvellous anticipation. Well timed tackle. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Mertens, Zielinski, that's a go, and what a magical save it was! Keen to take it short here. Fabian. And here's Zielinski. Terrific block. Zielinski. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Zielinski. And now Zielinski. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. But it's not lost on opposing attackers that Napoli know how to defend, and they do so as a team, Stuart. Well, they've been so well organised defensively. They press the ball from the front, the midfield players work really hard, and the defence are so disciplined. They're just so hard to break down. Delightful pass. Fabian. Mertens. Will it happen for them? 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And a good-looking ball. Cristiano Biraghi. Crossing possibilities. It might be on for them. Torreira. Bonaventura. Dusan Vlahovic. Callejon. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Bonaventura here. And just narrowly wide in the end. come as a free kick here well as the stats confirm Napoli have had the lion's share of the ball but without really creating too many chances which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Won it back. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. On Visa. Politano. He's trying to create something. Really good challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Bonaventura. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Well, the half-time whistle is sounded and a story of two teams matching each other. What have you made of Napoli? Well, it might not be great viewing, but you have to admire their defensive setup. They must do so much work on the training ground to be this organised. Now they need to find that spark going forward if they're to claim a win here. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Well, sloppy in possession. Lorenzo Insigne. Fabian. And Politano with it. Fabian. That's a good-looking ball. Fabian. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And still a chance. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. A short corner here. Cuts it back. Zielinski. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Mertens. Takes the shot. And he read it really well. Fine save.
They take it short. And we're into the flower. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. On Guisa. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And holding the ball up in a decent position. Zielinski. Insigne. And here's Fabian. Superb block. Really a very poor ball. Well, as you can see, Napoli have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort oh, of domination. Oh, opportunity here, Stewart. And foiled by the post. And into the last 20 minutes. Callejon. Well, the attack looks promising. Torreira. He continues his run. Well, thumped clear. Onguisa. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Time for a change then. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. And time for the change now. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Elmas. Every pass hitting its target. Firing it towards goal! Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? And short it is. Fabian! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. And the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Nikola Milenkovic. 
On the attack in the closing phase, Dusan Vlahovic could cross it in here. Nikola Milenkovic. Here's Pulgar. So the final whistle and the big headline, a victory for Napoli. Your assessment of their performance? Well, once more, their defensive display was so good. They just know exactly what their jobs are, where they should be at any given time, and they react so well to danger. That was almost perfect.